This is Karen Malik sitting with author and scientist Jason Cartago. Okay, so I'd like to start with some background. You graduated from Seneca Valley University, class of 2010. What did you study and why? Well, I was studying biology, more specifically botany. Uh, I was really interested in plants that can drastically change the environments that they inhabit. And what did you do after you graduated? Well, eventually I went to Cambridge to get a PhD in biochemistry. You've accomplished a lot. Was it difficult? Yes, but I had help. I was taken in by Dr. Vladimir Musk as his apprentice. He really changed my life, showed me the true potential of the science that we were dealing with. The true potential? Vladimir is a master in neurology, engineering, biology. You name it, he has a degree in it. With his approval, I was able to do my research outside of Seneca Valley in many remote locations. I do my research best when I'm away from civilization. Uh, that's what drew me to the island that you've heard so much about. Jason. Mr. Cortego. Yes. This island. Now I told you we weren't going to go into it. I'm sorry, but you have to admit that reporters have a beat on you and I don't want to botch your story. I can tell you that I've never been happier to be home. I understand, but I just want to round up your story, please. You're not my shrink. Exactly. I know a thing or two about bottling things up. Please. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am bottled. What did we talk about? It's constricting, you know. Yes, I do. We thought we found. For some reason, we were lost. It wasn't where we thought, so we decided to go back to port. At night, a storm drew in. All I remember is my lungs filling up with water. I remember waking up on the island.